Okay, I'm gonna try to make a quick tutorial on uh, how to make the novels for you, because um, I don't think I'll be on by the time you get back and are able to um, play. So I'm gonna quickly run through the overall setup. So TRP3 Extended adds these additional fancy buttons onto your toolbar. We are gonna be pressing the little gizmo that says Extended Objects Database. It's gonna open up a huge screen, and it'll probably open up on a screen that looks like this one. Um, I just tried going through this to make sure it worked, and it did. So you'll get this window. Um, these are the items that you've created. These are the ones that I've created right here. Yours will mo most likely be blank. Um, so you'll want to go down here to the bottom left and say create item. It'll give you a list of options, and the one that we want to pick is might be a little bit counterintuitive. We do not want to click on the document item. Um, not quite yet, so we will be doing that in just a second. Document items are um, items that can only be displayed, so they're not like actual items in your inventory per se. They are items that can be referenced by other items to pop up, if that makes any sense. So first click on blank item. This will pull us to a new window. And you can see at the top that we have database and then we have a flow sheet into our new item. So you can always click on these top buttons at the very, very top to go through your um, progression of items, okay? And there's also two other uh, uh, tabs at the top that say main and inner objects, and we'll use those in just a second. So let's name our um, novel, um, spicy Darkshire novel. And we'll make it a legendary because it's that good. And it is a book. This is just a tool tip. And there's another tool tip on the right. And you can just say it's um, dank. And cool. All right, sweet. So um, this little preview spot over here, if you hover over the image, it'll start giving you the um, overall look of how the um, object will look in your inventory. Um, we can change the image as well. We can type in book and find a cool book title. All right, sweet. Let's give it a little description. Um, so cool. I'm really creative right now. So and it'll also give you these little quotes. You can also like assign like a gold value up here, uh, weight, and some other stuff. And free notes, these won't be seen on the actual object. This is just, I guess, for you to kind of establish like where you left off or something like that. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to make our book usable. Like we want to be able to right click it and something to pop up. So to do that, we want to go over to gameplay attributes and make sure we hit usable. All right. It'll pop up another little prompt that says usage text. So this is that green stuff, the green tooltip that appears at the bottom of like potions. We can say click to read. And go over here, and there we go. We have the green click to read. All right, so that's looking pretty great so far. We can also change the sound. Um, it makes when we pick it up with our mouse cursor, like this. Um, so now it'll sound like a book. And once you start making progression, I would recommend that you save. So always save whenever you have free time. Um, if you're ever going to exit out of the window or go back to the database, make sure you hit save. Let me just make sure. Yeah, okay, cool. So we are good to go, and we can start on the next object now, which is we're going to create that document. So the document item is the thing that's going to pop up once I right click on this item, okay? So to do that, we go over to Inner Objects. Inner Objects are objects within the item that you are creating. So this kind of lets you set up a hierarchical way of organizing all the things you're making inside this extended module. Also, let me turn down the music in the back. Sorry, I'm realizing that might be way too loud. I apologize. Hopefully that's not bad. Um, so once you uh, are here, we can create the document item. Um, so we're going to click on create new object and then go down to document. So right here, we're going to be naming the file name of the document. Uh, make sure you never use spaces when you're naming a file name for a, uh, an item or a document. So we're just going to say uh, novel underscore RP. All right, so I had the document name and I had the title of the document. The title of the document can have spaces in it, okay? So now that it's in our inner object list, we can click on it and it'll pop up another screen. So again, we have database, which leads into our spicy Darkshire novel, which leads into the document that's gonna be popping up. Essentially, it's like a, think of it like a page inside the, um, the book, okay? Again, we can see the preview. Um, here's the blank page right now. This is what it looks like. And we have a whole bunch of options. So over on the right, it kind of looks like the same as your profile page with the added bonus of adding a page option as well. So you can use all these to um, type whatever you want. I'm just gonna show you one thing. If you type too far, I'm pretty sure the text will run off the page, which it didn't there, but I'm positive that it does. So make sure you add a page. When you add a page, you can go down to the bottom and click next page and whatnot. So that's there. You can add all that and have a whole bunch of fun with that. There's also a whole bunch of backgrounds, which are fun to play around with. I haven't found any border options, which sucks. And you can also change like the width. So if you make like your book, like a really fat book or wide book, excuse me, then boom, you're good to go. Um, and then you can also change, I think, some of the font um, around if you want. 
um, resizable. So I think this will allow you to change like this. You can actually make it bigger and smaller. And I have no idea what background tiling is. Um, anyways, so let's save it again because we want to make sure that we keep up to date with our progress. So our book's complete. It is pretty spicy um, and it's a great novel, no uh, Darkshire novel, um, as you can tell by my beautiful text. So now what we want to do is we want to make sure that this item will link to this document, okay? So the way we're going to do that is we're going to go back to our spicy Darkshire novel, okay? Inside this item, it has what's called a workflow. A workflow is essentially the commands that will be issued once you click on the item, okay? So that's this middle button right here. We're gonna click on workflow, all right? So it kind of describes what it does on the left. Um, so we're gonna add an element, gives us some options. We're gonna click on effects. We're gonna click on document and display document. And so I prepared everything for us. It just wants to know what the document ID is. So the document ID is sort of the name of that file that we gave it. Um, you can type it in or you can do this little nifty little search you can type in, I think I called it like RP something, yeah, novel RP, and click on it, and you can click confirm. There'll be a whole bunch of numbers when you do it through the browsing system, and that's okay. And that's it. That's really it. You click save, just make sure. So on trigger use, this thing will display a document that's spot document name, excuse me, is novel RP, okay? So our book is all good to go. Um, it is a classic hit. We are going to go ahead and right-click it back on our database and say add to main inventory. We just want one of them. Don't need more than that. And now we're gonna read it. So let's exit out of that and right click. Boom, there our novel is. And it's beautiful and perfect. So other good thing about this mod is that you can transfer stuff to other characters. Um, the best way to do it, however, is in game. So if I wanted to trade, like let's say this is you, I can walk over, pick this up and then uh, drag it over him and drop it and a trade window will open up. When that happens, you can accept the trade and then it'll download actually in game, which is pretty nifty. Um, so I'll do that with the Vigil Charter tomorrow or whenever, and I might be on the, I know, it's, it's late here already. Um, yeah, it'll be another time, but, uh, it, the Vigil was a fun thing to make. Um, I don't know what I was doing with the whole stating, but I don't know. I'm trying to get my creative juices to flow with this RP stuff, because I have no experience with this stuff at all. Um, anyways, I hope my voice was loud enough. I hope the music wasn't too loud. Um, I hope everything worked out okay. Um, but let me know if you need any other help. If not, check out the YouTube videos they have online. Look up TRP3 Extended Tutorials. The maker of the extended mod actually has three vid videos. He is French, however, so he does um, have subtitles for some of those videos, but they were very helpful. Um, like I could do everything after watching them, essentially. Or at least I had like the knowledge to do everything. Um, anyways, hope you have a great night. Um, sorry I'm going to miss you. Um, and good luck with whatever you got going on. Alright, see ya.